Hi, kindergarten, it's Mrs. Grandy, and today we are going to learn to read and write the number zero. As we learned before, the number zero means there is nothing in the cup, there's nothing on the plate, it's zero. There's nothing there. To make the number zero, it's almost like the letter O, just not quite as round, okay? So that's a zero. All right, let's start practicing. We're gonna practice some of the numbers that we already know. So let's count how many pencils are in this can. We have one, two, three pencils. Let's write the number three. Let's write the number three. Now let's take a look at this can. How many pencils are in there? That's right, there are zero pencils. Let's practice writing the number zero. There we go. Let's take a look at another example. How many pencils are in this cup? We have one, two pencils. Let's practice writing the number two. Practice writing the number two. How many pencils are in this cup? We have one, two, three. Very good. Let's practice writing the number three. Writing the number three. How many pencils are in this cup? That's right. There are zero pencils in this cup. Zero pencils in the cup. How about in number six? How many pencils are in this cup? I see one. There is one pencil in this cup. Very good. Number seven, how many pencils are in this cup? Let's count them. One, two. Very good. There are two pencils in this cup. We're going to practice writing our number two. How many pencils are in this cup? Let's count them. Oh, there's nothing to count. There are zero pencils in this cup. Excellent work today, kindergarten. Today we learned how to read and write the number zero.